Hey there, are you guys looking to remove your brands from your big commerce store? Not your brand, but your brands. You're in luck in this video. I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Before we get started, my name is Cal. I'm a store owner just like you, as well as a developer. I've been building big commerce stores since 2010. And let me share my screen and I'll show you guys how to do this. First of all, <clears throat> I think it's worth pointing out that, you know, brands can show up in a couple different places. They can show up in your footer right here. They can show up on your product page uh, right here, at least on Cornerstone. Um, they can show up in your visual sitemap, which looks like this, this. Uh, so this is a this is your visual sitemap, and you can see all of your brands show up here. They will also show up in your XML sitemap, which looks like this and is found at xmlsitemap.php. This is what you typically will give Google uh, in order for them to crawl all this stuff. So if you're truly trying to get rid of brands everywhere and you don't want your brands to even be indexed, we got to remove it from all these different places. Uh, or maybe you guys are just looking to remove it from your product page. That could be the thing. Um, all right. So <clears throat> let's start out by going into settings and then display in the back end of your store and if you scroll down to uh, under product settings there is a check mark there for show products brand so i'm going to uncheck that i'm going to click save and so what that does is it's going to remove it here from the product page so i'm going to refresh it and you'll see that it's gone from the product page which is great but it's still in the footer. Let's see if it's still on the visual site map. It is still on the visual site map. And let's see if it's on the XML site map. It is. Okay. So if you just wanted to remove it from your product page, I mean, you're good now, right? But you're still going to get these brands indexed. Now, if you guys are trying to remove brands because you are your own brand, uh, you know, it might be worth just filling in the brand detail on all of your products uh, just so that your brand's page does get indexed and if people are searching for branded terms they might come across your store right you could still turn it off on the product page if you don't want it there for visual reasons um, but you know if you if that if it is your own brand you might consider leaving it on and just removing it on the product page if that's what you're trying to do now if you truly want to pretend like brands don't exist then we need to take some extra steps. So number one is removing it from the product page. Number two, let's go ahead in here and go to products and then click down here on brands. And I'm gonna sort for, I'm gonna view all of them and I'm actually gonna just delete them all. And so what I just did is I just deleted all of the brand data from all of my products. Now, if I load more products and they have brand data associated with them, then it's gonna end up creating brands again. But right now, I have zero brands. So if I come back here to the visual site map, look at that, it's gone from the visual site map because there's no brand pages to index at this point. If I come in here to the XML site map, look at that, it's, it's gone here as well. Um, so if you turn it off on the product page, that removes it from the product page in the uh, in the display settings. If you delete all of your brands, that will remove it from your visual site map as well as your XML site map. And then let's just refresh and check to see if it got rid of it in the footer. Somehow it's still showing up there in the footer. So that's interesting. I don't know why that would show, like why there would be actual brands still in here. But if you're on Cornerstone, there is one more place where you can actually remove this from the footer. And this works whether you delete all the brands or not. Uh, you know, this might be just showing up because of a delay and the data getting refreshed. If not, it might be a little buggy bug. Um, no matter if we go into storefront, themes, and then customize on the cornerstone template. We can click into this little art palette and go to header footer. And in here, 
right here under display settings there's one that says show brands in footer so we'll just uncheck that click on preview and now it's gone from the footer as well so we've removed it from the footer we've removed it from the visual sitemap we've removed it from the xml sitemap and we've removed them from the product page so there are no more brands in our store but again if you add one more product with a single brand attached to it it's going to it's going to rebuild brand product pages and put brands in everywhere else. Um, if this sounded like a lot, you might also consider just removing it or hiding it on the product page with one line of CSS. But, you know, there's a lot of different ways to do it, a lot of places that show up. So I just kind of wanted to show you guys all the places where it showed up and how to get rid of it in each place. Uh, hopefully this solved your problem. If not, leave me a comment. Let me know what your scenario is and I'll, and I'll see what I can do to, to tell you how to remove it from however you're trying to do it. Um, appreciate you guys being here. Be sure to reach out to us at Epic Design Labs if you need help with your store. And uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys are stuck on. Maybe that'll be my next video. Thank you so much.